So now that version 1.03 has been released, Dragon Fist has now been fixed, so we can now use it and hit with it without having to break our opponent's stamina bar. So because of this, I decided to go back and revisit the attack. Also, I'm only noticing this now, the footage for this video is kind of glitchy at some point, not all the way through, just at some very random points, I know why it's doing this, it was something I did while I was recording it. So again, just keep that in mind as you watch the video and this won't happen again. So yeah, just getting into this moveset. I know it's not really a themed moveset, but you know, I just think it'll be very fun to use. And if you do have any themed moveset suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments and the best ones will be featured in future videos. So let's look at what I'm using. I have Dragon Fist as one of my ultimates and Super God Shock Flash as one of my supers, hence the title of the video. Super God Fist because I had only just recently unlocked it and I thought, you know what, it's an attack that everyone likes, I might as well use it and try it out. Times 10 Kamehameha because, well, I've not used it in Xenoverse 2 yet and I just really wanted to try that out as well. And now if you're Super Saiyan 1, 2 or 3, it's instant, so it's actually useful now. After Image, because it's kind of like a second nature for me now to use After Image in certain situations, which is funny because I don't think I used it once in this video. Super Kamehameha as my second ultimate. It's not the most interesting attack, but it's very useful, it's stable and it's very reliable. In terms of how much key it uses and how long it takes to fire and how much damage it does, it's probably one of the best ultimate attacks in the game. Final Kamehameha hard does do significantly more damage but then again that takes five bars of key to use and it's got a pretty slow startup time so again you need to find a balance of how long it takes to fire an attack versus how much key it requires and also how much damage it's going to do. Originally I was going to use the full power energy wave ultimate rather than super kamehameha but after testing both of them in the training mode they both take up the same amount of key, they roughly have the same startup time but Super Kamehameha just does more damage. So with that being said, the only reason you would pick the Full Power Energy Wave Ultimate would be if you just want a different looking attack, which isn't really going to benefit you that much, or if you just don't have Super Kamehameha unlocked. You can buy both of them from the skill shop, but I think Super Kamehameha only unlocks very late in the story mode. I'm not sure, but I do believe that the Full Power Energy Wave Ultimate is there from the beginning, so just keep that in mind. Hyper Movement, because it's probably the best evasive skill in the game if you used right. If your opponent uses an ultimate and you use Hyper Movement, you can just break their stamina bar and you can kind of win the match that way if you capitalize on it properly. And finally, Super Saiyan as my transformation, just because it's my goal to skill. If I need a significant damage boost, I'll turn Super Saiyan 3, but if I just need to transform to get the you know, like the instant attacks, like instant transmission, times 10 Kamehameha, then Super Saiyan 1 is just a good transformation to use for that. Here are my stats. Keep in mind that I am playing with limitations on, but your stats are still affected depending on which attribute points you have. So I'll just keep that in mind. If you were at the recent live stream, which was a lot of fun, I had to collect the Dragon Balls to change my stats for something off camera. So this is what my current build is. So going into the first fight, I picked the Time Chamber map and the guy picks Gartings, which, I mean, fair play. Like, I rarely see people play as Gartings online. So here, I'm just trying to fill him out, see when he's going to vanish, and when he's going to predict me vanishing. There, I just went for the Super God Fist, thinking for some reason, it's got longer range than like two inches, but no. Here, he gets me in a combo, and I decide to just let him do it to see if he's going to complete it or if he's going to stop and try and back hit me. But he completes the combo, and that tells me that back hitting isn't something he. I mean, I'm sure he knows about back hits, but. It may be something that's not that important to him, I don't know, but we'll see as we continue in the fight. So after the energy volley, I go for the Super God Shock Flash, thinking he's going to rush into me. He doesn't. He vanishes there, and I think that was either a misclick or a panic vanish. Then I just get him in the Super God Shock Flash and actually connect this time. The footage just skips there, I'm sorry, <laughs> nothing happens, he just turns Super Saiyan 3. And then he hits me away and goes for the Super God's Kamikaze attack. I did try to break his guard with the Heavy Smash there, but the bug is still in where your character just randomly turns around. I absolutely hate that. So I had to use Super Kamehameha to just destroy the ghosts. And it kind of works out in my favour there because I only use three bars of key. 
he used three bars of key as well for the ultimate but me using the super combo on my heart drained a lot of his stamina so once again a good way to destroy the ghosts before they can do any damage is to just use an ultimate beam attack so here I'm going to vanish and I'm going to turn Super Saiyan 3 because the match is halfway over, I have lost stamina and my health isn't too great despite having more than him so I really need to start playing seriously to an extent and really put him away here. I have enough key to do Dragon Fist to finish him off but I need to make sure I make him vanish before I do so. I'm successful in doing that, Dragon Fist hits and Gartings gets eaten by a dragon. The footage keeps glitching out in this next fight really bad, so again, I am sorry. I decided to use the space map because it's pretty open. The guy picks his freezer race character, we go into a quick clash. I step vanish there rather than dashing to conserve stamina. And like the last match, I'm just letting him do a combo on me here to see what he'll do. Will he stop it and try and go for the back here, or will he continue? He vanishes, then uses the homing dash, and that must have been a misclick because he's right by me, so no point using it when you're that close to someone you'll just be wasting one bar of stamina so lag hates me here and i know he's going to vanish when he has two bars of stamina because he's in a like he's in a combo so of course he's going to vanish and i do actually back hit him and it does hit but it just doesn't register so that's lag for you so in a moment I go for the Dragon Fist for no reason at all. It may have been because this section of the fight was a bit laggy and I was trying to get some sort of... Like I was praying that it would hit so like it'll do some sort of damage to him. I really wouldn't recommend using Dragon Fist unless you know 100% it will hit and I've learned that the hard way. So here I went for the throw then the immediate energy volley and most of the key blasts hitting which is very helpful. In a moment I'll go for the basic light combo, the attack with the barrage of punches at the end. Now that combo online never hits at the end, you'll see that in a moment but you can sometimes use it to use the barrage of energy volley, um, like that key blast, so it can be useful that way. I mean, come on, look, I'm using the one inch punch there. He actually hits me, but nothing happens, like, come on. So because I'm kind of low on health at the moment, even though I still have more health than he does, and I have three bars of key, I decided to go for the hyper movement, then try and go for a stamina reset. I was thinking I could reset my stamina, and then he was just going to dash up to me, and I could get him in the super god shock flash, but he uses the harming dash, which fair play to him, like he really got me there. And as you just saw, he uses death ball, and that really messes me up. But now I'm feeling kind of confident, because I have more stamina, my health is low enough to get the Zenkai bonus and he kind of has low health as well. Plus I should be able to get 3 bars of key to hit him with a Super Kamehameha if I need it. Well not really because I just used Super God Fist which didn't even connect at all. But my main concern at the moment is just lag. So a normal basic combo should be enough to finish him off given how low his health and stamina is and of course my Zenkai boost. So you'll see me using a few dashes just to connect. And I do, and I managed to beat him. So thanks for watching the video so far guys. There's one more fight, but I just want that to play out on its own. Because I think that was probably the closest fight in the video. And it really does speak for itself. And because my capture card really did hate me when I was recording this, the audio is messed up, so there'll just be music on it rather than just the fighting effects and the voiceover. So thanks for watching so far guys, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.